Okay, so in this video, we're gonna make a little animated cartoon water texture for this water trough that I've got here. So I've got a material here, cartoon water that I made that it's assigned just to this, uh, this face here. So now we just wanna go into this shader view here and uh, plug up some nodes that are going to generate our water texture look. I'm gonna to go to add, I'm gonna add a texture, and we're gonna use Voronoi texture. And you're gonna to wanna to shift D, duplicate that. We want two of those. And uh, you're gonna set them both to 4D because we're gonna use the fourth dimension to uh, animate the, uh, the pattern. The uh, second one, you're gonna to wanna to change to smooth F1 and leave the first one just as F1. So now we need a math node. And we're gonna switch this to subtract. I'm going to take the distance, plug that in from each of these. And now we need a color ramp. And we're going to plug this into the emission. We're going to set the emission strength. Let's bring that up to 2.5. Let's change the base color to sort of a uh, turquoise. And we want to change the alpha. 0.5. We want to make sure in our shader here that we're going to change this to alpha blend, turn shadows to none, and then you also want to check the back face culling. Okay, now we're going to bring the specular down just a little bit. Let's add in an input value, and then we're going to plug this into the scale for both of these, set this to 12, and this way it'll change it for both of them at the same time and give them the same value. Uh, let's put another one of these values in, so Shift D to duplicate, and we're gonna plug that into the uh, W input. Set this back to zero, uh, and then we're gonna use this later. This is what's gonna let us uh, animate this over time. So we wanna change the smoothness to like 0.5, and then we're gonna use this color ramp here. Bring this down. You can see the effect here and it sort of disappears if we move this up. So let's get that about there. We want a nice sort of foamy look to it. So we're gonna bring them pretty close. I think that's pretty good right there. Uh, and now the last piece of this is we want to animate this. So go back to frame one, hover over your value here, hit I on the keyboard to mark a keyframe, skip to the end. So let's, uh, let's set that to 0.1, and then make sure you hit I to mark a keyframe again. So we wanna change the interpolation, because uh, right now it's gonna go from not doing anything, it's gonna sort of ramp up, and then ramp back down to not doing anything, and we want it to be continuous. So change the, uh, the shader view here over to the uh, graph editor. Hit A on the keyboard to make sure everything's selected. Then go up to key, find interpolation mode and set that to linear. And then we can just go back over to the shader editor. And now let's hit play. There you go, there's some cartoon water uh, animated in the fourth dimension. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I have other tutorials in the works, so uh, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on them. Alrighty, thanks for watching. Cheers.